Island. Today we're back in Patterdale. Uh, it was in Patterdale a couple of months ago when we did play spell. Um, but we're back this time, other side of the road, and we're doing St Sunday Crag. Um, first we're going up to, um, we've just come up through to the Marrow Park, up to Burks, up to the summit on St Sunday Crag, hang on a left over to Gavel Pike, then drop down to Deepdale Hawes, and then down again to Grisdale Tarn, and then follow the Grisdale back, back into Patterdale. It's a lovely day again, a bit more like Lake District weather, where you put your waterproofs on and the sun shines, take them off and it's down to the rain. Um, Sue's navigating yet again so we don't get lost. We've checked the walk out on the maps and everything, it looks fine, it looks great. Um, we've checked the weather out as well, so it's going to be like this all day I think. It's supposed to come better later on, but we'll see. And we've got a superstar with us out today, with Jin the dog. So keep tuned, it's going to be a great day. Okay, so this is another walk from Walk Lakes, as all our walks are. Um, and Sue's got the piece of paper printed out here, map. the trusty map. Okay. So what's our next move, Sue? Turn El left. Navigator. We're going to turn left up a steep ridge. What's that one there? Yes, yeah. And then that takes us on to Burke, so... Uh, yeah, there's no mistakes today. <laughs> Which way are we going? That way? Behold the rainbow. Should we go down and see if there's a pot of gold down there? Look a bit of mist. Okay, we'll just keep going. Let's go through the gate in the intake wall and follow the path along the right hand side of the towering ridge line. The towering ridge line is there. So heading up the path now to Burks. We just look back. It's a great view. Place fell in the distance there. Grant Hull's Water and Glenrid in Dodd. Sheffield Bike. Going down to the lead mine at the back there. You can just see the lead mine actually in the back. And then Burke House more in front of us. Catsy Cam. Up onto Held Allen and Nethermost Cove in the bottom there. Looks very moody as Nethermost Cove today. There's Sue just checking the directions. And a beautifully camouflaged gin. Oh, it's windy like this, see ya. Is it right on that top? <laughs> exactly, that's what I was thinking. I'll have to tie gin down so she doesn't blow away. To put it back on the lead, I think. Yeah. Just above there. How is it? Is that what it says on the, uh, on the destructions? Yeah, because that's the, that's... Sunday Crag, that's got a whole prank. Okay. Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. There's, the, there's no dog sat here though, because there's a dog sat on that picture, but there's no dog sat here. I know, maybe she Are you sure we've gone the right way? I'm definitely sure. But there's no dog. Well, there's a little doggy here, we'll take okay. her instead. Left and climb steadily to the saddle between Burke's and St. Sunday Crag. Yeah. Ahead the crag looms dramatically. As it does. As it does. Follow the path over the grassy bumps to the small cairn where the path splits. Can't see that yet. Can't see that yet. Ahead the path that climbs through outcrops of rock to the summit of St. Sunday Crag directly. Yeah, I see that with them two people out there. Yeah, but okay. our route bears left. Before that. Yeah, to visit the little summit of Gravel Pike. I can just see a path up there, I think. Can you see it there? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good to me. Good. Onwards and upwards. Again. Again. <laughs> We're just below St Sunday Crag. We've taken a left fork to go to Gabble Pike first. Looking for a cairn. It said on the paper it was a cairn where you turn left. But we didn't see a cairn. Definitely no cairn. Definitely not. Maybe there's a cairn thief. So if you're following that path and you're looking for a cairn, don't look too hard. You'll definitely see the path, but you might not see the cairn. Did. Okay, usual summit selfie, gravel pike. 
Um, not a bad walk up, but the view from here is tremendous. Top of Gravel Pike, which was brilliant. And with that scene behind you, it was the best cafe in the world. The path has disappeared. Yeah. What do we do now, Susan? Keep going up. <laughs> okay. Up we go. St. Sunday Crag Summit. It's not a far actually is it at all from um, Gavel, Pike. Gavel Pike at all, but the view from here is amazing. You've got Fairfield over there and obviously the horseshoe that side and that side there you've got you can see Catsy Camp, you can see Striding Edge, Edge. you can Hell Bellin, Nevermore's Cove, oh that's just stunning. Um, so now we're going to head down to Deepdale Halls and then down to um, Grisdale Town. And then back round. Let me just move you around here. Look at that view. Isn't that just spectacular? Are you ready? I'm ready. Come on, <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> I was just saying them crags there. Yeah. And I know I keep saying it about Lord of the Rings. I don't because I've only watched it once but it looks like something out of Lord of the Rings. And it looks like, like them black bat things are gonna fly out of it and it come does. and pick us up and eat us or something like that. <laughs> it's just um, it's so dramatic. stunning, very dramatic indeed. Susan? Yeah? I think we'll have lunch at Grisdale Tarn. Good idea. It looks beautiful. Could you ring up and book a table? Yeah, window for, seat. Window seat for two and a little dog. With good views. With good views. We want a table with good views, please. Okay, tell them we're there in about ten minutes. Okay. Deepdale House, uh, following this narrow zigzag back like right down now. If I can keep on my feet, that would be good. Uh, following this zigzag back right down now to uh, Grisdale Town. The wind certainly picked up a bit, but again, you know, the sun's coming. It's just a great day. Like I always say, a bracing day, because it should be in the lakes. Um, but I'll show you a view in front of us at the minute because it is absolutely stunning. A dolly wagon. Pike, Nethermost Cove, Halavella, and Striding Edge. So I'll just spin you down. There's Dolly Wagon, looking beautiful in the sun. Nethermost Cove, Striding Edge, Halavella. Fabulous.
just after lunch now. Uh, got to follow Grisdale back all the way down. Sue's just checking her notes over there. What's the crack? Just want to make sure we're going the right way. Now we're going the right way? We are. Cool. So, yeah. Just a nice walk back now, back to the car. And then hopefully a few pints. Check in in a minute. Every now and again. Just stop every now and again and look back. So, walk review. What are you thinking? I think it's a really, really good one, this. Steep up at the beginning. Steep, very steep at the beginning, but you're up quickly. Yeah, that's good. That's true. So you've got good views for ages. And I suppose going out, going towards um, to Sunday Crag, the views on both sides were really dramatic, weren't they? They were yeah. kind of. It was a fabulous view to both sides. And then you turn the corner. And then you've got Grisdale Town. Grisdale Town, and then this walk back and is then, just. To be fair, the walk back is lovely. It is lovely. The weather has helped the walk back. Yeah, it has. But it's an easy walk back in it, you can kind of go yeah. about, can't you? It's not you can like you're not saying I've got to concentrate, but you can look where you're going. Absolutely. So all in all, yeah, really good, good walk. Though. We'll do this one again. Yeah. What do you say, Jim? She's loved it. She has loved it. She's loved the new jacket. Yep. Good girl, Jim. So now we've done walk talk, it's pub talk. It is pub talk, but last night we went to the Outgate, which is equally as good as the Badger Bar. Um, but unfortunately, the dog, little, little dog, doesn't like it there. I don't know why. It just crawls on the floor and wants to go home. Wants to go home. I don't know why she does it. But anyway, well, the burgers there are absolutely excellent. Uh, but guess where we're going? <laughs> Badger Bar. Badger Bar. Yeah, and no doubt we'll have the usual. No. Um, you can't, you can't help it. It's good. So yeah. This pub talk is getting a bit um, monotonous, really, now, isn't it? Hey ho, a few pints will be good. And here we are, back where we started. And what a difference in day. Okay, let's play mileage top trumps. When I get my binoculars on, 9.87 miles. Stop that. Let's see what mine is. Save. Can you beat 9.87 miles? 9.43. So Garmin is the winner over Strava. Yep. Cool. Right, now it's time to go to the pub.